Welcome back to the next vlog. <laughs> what are you doing? You love that spot. You love that spot, don't you? <laughs> okay, welcome back. The last vlog of Vlogmas. I can't believe it. Um, I'm just gonna have some quick breakfast. I'm very slow starting this morning. Jet lag is still killing me. Vogue is waiting. See if I'll give her anything. Um, I don't really have a major plan. It's Sunday and it's kind of rainy. I'll show you. It's a little bit miserable. We were gonna go walking and stuff, but I think that plan's out the window. It is pretty dull and rainy, but it's kind of nice. At least it's like an excuse to stay inside. So I'm gonna have some breakfast, chill for a little bit, get some coffee, and then I'll let you know what we get up to. Look who is visiting me. Yeah. Say hi, wave. Say hi to Erica. Keenan and? Oh, and I think there's some presents for you. We're going to just open the little presents because you're going to have a lot of presents on Christmas Eve. So we're just going to open the little presents today. Is that okay? So this bag is for you, Keenan, okay? Oh. And when you're finished, you can put everything back into it. Now, wow. First of all, there's chocolate reindeer. Look Do at that. Yes. That matches your, your jumper. Then look what there's, look, there's a chocolate stir when you're making your drinking chocolate. Yum. Look at this. It's chocolate stuck onto the spoon. Because Keenan is a chocolate lover. <laughs> like okay. your cousin Open Erica. The card later. <laughs> what is this? Hello, Kitty. <laughs> I used to love that. Wait, what is Show the vlog. What is it? Hello, Nail, Nail varnishes. Wow. And the hairband. Oh, like, what is this one? Oh, it's a blue pop candy. And you got this Oh, coffee. I got this gold finger. Wow. Now we're going to have to figure out how we you put them on. Because I got red and you got blue in there. <laughs> How do we put these on, Keenan? Okay, now the big present. What is this? Oh. Now you see what it says. For saving your money. Wait. I open it and show you. Coin counter. So it counts them when you put you see, them in. You, you know how much is in it. But we now have to put in two euro That's into smart. it now. I can do Very it. Very smart. Do you have a piggy bank already? Yeah. So you can put all those in the piggy bank in here. I love this card. Oh, show the card, Keenan. I think that there's is two euro Keenan in it. Keenan or Godson? No. Oh, Kaylin. Kaylin. Remember, the, we put in there's two euro in it. Now we're putting in Keenan a 20. Kaylin's so what should it say now when we put in a 20? Two euro and? 20. 20 cents. So we'll see, does it work? <gasps> oh, it's wow. gone to two euro and 20 cents. Look, it works. Erica. Oh, yay, Keenan. Well done. Oh, I can hear the crackling already. There, there's a switch. It's a crackling? Open. Let me put one. Okay, one. Oh, isn't that magic? <laughs> Will I put it into a special bag for you? It's easier. A few hours later and I have spruced myself up because we finally have a plan. We had the most relaxed day. It was actually so nice and very needed. Um, but now we're all going to go for a family dinner to one of our favourite curry restaurants called Jack's. It's in an area called Cremon. I'm sure you've seen it on the vlog before. We always go there. So let me just show you what I'm wearing. I said I would dress up a little so I have my Olivia Rubin top that I got during the summer. It is a little bit summery but I think with the black it kind of Christmases it down a little bit and then I just have my H&M leather kind of baggy trousers and then these are heels from Sandro. So yeah that's me I'm gonna bring one of my black bags and I'll bring you with us. I also think Tommy's gonna come too. Kel and David are gone to Cork today because Kel wanted to do some last minute shopping and they're staying in a nice hotel and stuff but Tommy is in Kerry still, <laughs> so he's gonna come with us. Facebook. On the vlog, on YouTube. <laughs> this is my granny Fox. She's from Westmead, my dad's mom. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're just having a drink before dinner, chilling, mom's here. <laughs> so you can see that, you'll see yourself on the TV. Look who's back. Oh, how's the Guinness? Great. So good. And the Chanel bag. <laughs> My bag this year. <laughs> good morning, everyone. 
Hello from Killarney, well, hello from the car. I'm just parked up in the car park in Killarney. I've come in to meet my friend Sinead and catch up with her, just have a coffee and stuff. I think we're going to a place called Curious Cat. She said the coffee's good. <laughs> She's also into coffee, so I, I trust her. But I've just had the nicest experiences this morning. I'm fully convinced like where I'm from Kerry people are so nice so helpful and so friendly. First of all I went to my doctor I just got some bloods taken my hands actually killing me you know when you come out afterwards but got that done it was just on my list to do to make sure everything's okay then I went to my accountant the nicest man ever and then I came into Clarny and this car park is obviously so busy so I was driving around and could not find a space and then I was just coming up here and a guy who was like getting into his car saw me, stopped me, told me to wait and he like let me into his space and then came over and gave me his ticket <laughs> to um, oh god I always think I'm crazy when I have a camera in, in Ireland, um, I'm gonna push it down here a little bit. But yeah, gave me his ticket until 12 o'clock. Like, so nice, let me into the space. I probably would have been driving around for another 10, 15 minutes to get a space if he hadn't been that nice. And then I went into Vodafone to get my Irish SIM card for my phone, because like I'd always just like swap it out when I come home. Nicest experience in there as well. They couldn't have been more helpful. I was dealing with a really nice girl. And yeah, honestly, coming home, it just reminds me. Like, obviously, you know, the service can be great in New York as well, but it's nothing like here and I don't even know if it's all of Ireland in general I think it is a lot of parts but I think in Kerry especially people are really nice and especially this time of the year everyone's so busy like you almost like don't expect them to be as friendly because I know everyone has their own things going on but this morning two days before Christmas nicest morning and nicest experience I had so yeah hopefully I can pass on the good vibes <laughs> to whoever else I meet today and if I have a ticket later and if I have time because I have to get probably another one of these now before I go just so I have enough time and I'll be sure to pay the favour forward. So that's my update. I'm going to go meet my friend Sinead now just in a cafe down this way and maybe give a stroll around Clarny. I haven't been in here yet and it's always really pretty at Christmas so I'll try and show you a little bit just in case you're not familiar. Clarny is a town where I'm from in Kerry and it is so stunning. There's really nice bars and restaurants and cafes and stuff so I'll try and show you a little bit and I think then my mom is coming in with my granny. So you saw my granny in the vlog last night so she's my dad's mom. And she's from Westmead, just in case you don't know, my dad's originally from Westmead and she still lives up there, but she's down with us for Christmas, which is really nice this year. So probably we'll meet them later and maybe Ken and David, they're coming down from Cork as well today. So yeah, it should be a nice one. I'll vlog as much as I can today and then I'll try and get this live later tonight. Well, I'm all for finished lunch. We can drop them back now. These two are gonna leave us. I found mom and everyone we're gonna go for a little bit of shopping. How are you mom? Are you Hi, ready for Christmas? Yeah. Mom, <laughs> I I'm just... in the booth. <laughs> what is she doing? I just said to mom yesterday about that coat and there she's wearing it today. I say she's never it's worn nice. it. Where'd you get it? It's nice. Are you going home? Yeah. Okay I'll see you. Then. I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. We are home, straight into my dressing gown constantly. Kellen and Vogue are here. We're watching Kardashians. I have some potato waffles on. <laughs> this is literally me on repeat all Christmas. Those like potato waffles, bird's eye I think. So good. I'm gonna have these and we're gonna chill. I think Kellen's gonna go to Clarity. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go out or not. Um, I'm actually getting really lazy since I got home, but I'll see you soon. This is all Kellen does every day. I know I feel you Vogue. TikToks. All she does is make TikToks. Okay, a few hours later I decided to stay in. So everyone's gone and I'm gonna just have kind of a pamper night. Well, mom and them were just gone for dinner, but they'll be back soon. But I think I'm just gonna get myself organized. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve and we always go for a really nice lunch in Killarney. So I'm gonna pick out my outfit. I'm gonna do some tan, wash my hair. Just kind of chill, like, usually I always go out on the 23rd, but this year, I don't know, I'm just like, kind of leaning more towards relaxing. Like, I never really get to relax in New York, we're always going somewhere and doing this, so I'm just taking the chance while I'm here, but I will go out on St. Stephen's night, which is the 26th, 
and obviously New Year's and I have some fun days with the girls planned next week and unfortunately I won't be vlogging anything so you won't see any of this but I'm kind of excited for the break too. I think it's important especially this time of the year to actually give yourself some time where even if you're not like an influencer, YouTuber, whatever, like just to not share everything and I know lots of you I'm sure don't share every day on social media but for someone like me or any of you who are in this job I think it's important I think it's really important to take some time where you just like live <laughs> and not like document things and that's very important for me so I'm taking some time next week probably between like after Christmas Day, so the 26th to New Year's, I just have like plans with the girls. We're gonna go for like a spa day. We're gonna have nights out and yeah, I'm just gonna really take some proper time off. So that's all coming up. But anyway, I'm planning some outfits. Oh, what was that? Oh, just my lipstick, thank God, I thought it was my phone. Um, I'm gonna plan some outfits. Let me show you some of the bits I brought home with me. Okay, it actually was tidier. <laughs> But then I had to pick an outfit last night, so I kind of messed it up. But I just brought home, while well, you saw my bag in the last vlog. Oh, I'm loving it, I can't wait to wear it now over the next few weeks. And then actually my friend Aoife, who's a designer, she sent me this top. It looks really cool. It's like a one sleeve black top with a bow. She's like a young Irish designer and I love wearing her stuff. So I'll definitely wear that one night. And you saw this yesterday, or the, yeah, yesterday's vlog. And then I kind of started putting together some outfits. So this is like a Zimmerman top and these are Zara trousers. You've seen the blue top from Carrie Dunn in a previous vlog. Then I also got this new from Walk In Wardrobe as well. It's a cool little kind of peplum jumper. This top from Ann Taylor. I brought home my Rachel Zoe jumpsuit. I thought it could be nice for one night. It's like a burgundy color. Looks black now, but it's like a burgundy wide leg. Um, halter neck it's cool it's really nice on then some jumpers oh this is new actually i didn't see this yet mom hung it up got this from river island today really like that i think they sent another one as well yeah this one i'll link these down below actually because these are like new stock that's cool too then i have my kobe halpern jumper that i wear loads my h&m green jumper that i wear too much then just one scarf I brought and then you saw this dress in London actually loads of you were asking about this dress so I'll link this below as well again just in case any of you are looking for maybe like a New Year's Eve look could be a good idea then we have my YSL vintage blazer and then just a few coats like but anyway that's the update uh, I think Vogue is down here I don't know what happened to her paw one of her paws is all red I think we might end up bringing her to the vet if she doesn't get better because She's definitely not herself. Hi, Vogie. Do you know I'm talking about you? It's this paw. I don't want to touch it now, but like the bottom is all red and she's been like licking it and stuff. So yeah, we'll see how she is tomorrow, but she's definitely a little bit down on power, the crater. Hopefully she gets better, but it's just me and her tonight. So I'm going to have some food, then I'm going to Get myself ready. I have all the lights on. It's so pretty in here at night time. What is it about Christmas decorations? Like mom said the same thing. It just, it makes, even my apartment obviously is so small in comparison to this, but it just makes it so much better. Like what is it about fairy lights? It makes everything so pretty. Like, actually, I'll do a quick kind of Christmas decoration run through so you can see, cause my mom does such a nice job. Well, actually I should say kill too because she'll kill me cause she, helps a lot so we always do these lights on the stairs and then we have these little white roses so Kellen always helps with that and then this is a better look at the tree we actually for years used to get a real tree like all growing up but then I think about two years ago we changed to a fake one and to be honest it looks pretty believable <laughs> like unless you go really close you wouldn't even know like obviously once you feel it you know but it's really really good and then we do our usual kind of gold, silvery decorations. We've had those ones for years. Kind of a mix of random ones. Like we all very much have the same Christmas tree taste, kind of the same coloring. I love these ones. I have no idea now where she got all these, but some have been around for a long time. And then in our sitting room, living room for any American followers, we do the lights around the fireplace. We've had this for years as well. And she adds in lots of kind of pine cones and stuff. And then we always just have candles on the window so you can kind of see 
from outside. Actually, I almost turned that one on. That was my job today <laughs> when I came home. And then mom does this really cute crib as well. So she made this up herself. And then we have some little fairy lights in between. A wreath over here. I think that's kind of... Oh, this is actually lovely by her as well this year. This is new. You can't really see it on camera now because the light, but it's like a goldy, goldy kind of, um, what do you call this? Like tree effect with some roses. And then this tree in here is new. So as you can see, the theme in here is very gray slash white. But we just have this, oh, this camera is like not picking up that tone, but it's a really nice kind of silvery, shiny style tree. This is new this year. It's cool. Very simplistic, she doesn't go over the top, and then I've shown you the table already, of course. Turn the light, you've seen that. All set to go, and then we just have some little snowmen in the corner. So yeah, that's kind of our usual decorations every year. I think I'm gonna finish up this vlog, guys. I have to run into the shower, because everyone's gonna be home again soon, and I kind of want to just be chilled out by then and catch up with them when they get back. So I think this is the end of Vlogmas 2019. Let me sit down just so I can have one final chat of the year with you. Um, God, I really should look better for, for this, but this is real life. <laughs> this is Christmas. Um, but anyway, one thing I did need to say is the winners. So the winners of both giveaways. So the Emma Hardy, skincare giveaway winners and the kind of beauty giveaway that I put together myself all the winners are announced below in the description box so click below on the video I think there's kind of like an arrow thing and you'll see the description box and I'll also put it in the comments as well just in case you can't figure out the description box part and I'll announce all the winners there so click down below and I'll also put the names in the last video as well just so people know that the giveaway is over and yeah congratulations to all the winners I wish I could give something to everyone I honestly can't even tell you how much I appreciate your support every year and even if it's your first year watching or this is the only video you're watching or you just watched one I appreciate every single view and comment and like and message so much and I promise next year I'm going to do more giveaways than ever I'm going to team up with like a lot of my favorite brands and just hopefully give you as much as I can because it's kind of like the only way I can say thank you and trust me when I say that I really do appreciate it and I know that everyone's busy and everyone has their own things going on and the fact that you like take 10 minutes or 20 minutes or sometimes longer <laughs> my videos are long the fact that you take that time to watch and to support like it means so much so thank you so much again for watching this year I really hope you enjoyed it it was a bit different this year as you know I only did every second day and it definitely was a lot easier on my end I feel much less stressed I was able to enjoy my time kind of more so at home and in London and even in New York so yeah I think that it definitely was the best decision for this year we'll see how next year goes it could be back to every day it could be the same we'll see when the time comes but yeah I really enjoyed it again this year and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well so I will leave it here thank you thank you thank you have the best christmas whatever you're celebrating wherever you are i hope you have such a good one and happy new year almost new year and i won't have any videos now until the new year so i won't see you until then but i'll be back in january with a bang and i think i have a new youtube plan for next year i was thinking about it um over the last few weeks i kind of want to just like switch some things up so i'll fill you in on that in the new year and yeah i'm excited for 2020 I have a good feeling about it so have a great Christmas enjoy it and I will see you next year bye whoa what a cool outfit you've got on <laughs> talk us through it why did you pick out this outfit today I'm buy jeans and H&M jumper I felt like doing a green on blue look did you yeah and you picked this out you're wearing this all day yeah how about you?